Hey Joburg, how are you guys doing? So, wow, what a weekend. Um, mind blown. Just, uh, just, yeah, I, I don't even know where to go. It was just so much fun. Um, as you can see, I'm still dead, dead, dead tired. But we had a blast. Uh, I can't believe we made a movie in 48 hours. I can't wait to show you guys the movie. It really is so good. Um, I'm not just saying that because, you know, I made it, but because we made it. Anyway. I'm a little bit shattered and in a bit of a tiz because I'm moving house this week and I'm on deadline for the paper this week and I now have to rush off because I'm going to go hopefully do an interview with Johnny Clegg quickly which I've just been tipped off about so I'm going to jump in my car and fly off there and if I sound incoherent over today well sorry guys I'm yeah brain dead okay so I've made it to the radio today studios where this Johnny Clegg interview is going to happen I'm not sure if I'm actually going to get inside or if they're going to allow me to just jump in here. I really do hope so. I'd love to just yeah, get one or two questions in with Johnny and see what his plans are. I mean, he's such an intricate part of South African music history and it's going to be so sad not to have him around anymore. Hi. Thanks for making up. I know you're running like an absolute lunatic at yes, the moment. Yes, I'm... I'm uh... I'm busy, you know, putting together the American and Canadian leg of, of the of the uh, final journey tour, and um, we were we were trumped uh, because there's, <laughs> there's, a, there's all sorts of new visa um, uh, issues that we have to um, comply with, which I, you know I I was like I put look I'm an old hand at this I do this every year you yeah know, and it, it changed so I was I was caught uh, so it was a bit of a panic panic station uh, but I managed to to get through early so I could come here and do this interview. Oh, so you have no idea I mean this is like that the best is your birthday, birthday present, present ever. from thank me. You. Yeah. Thank you so much. I mean for me um, strangely enough I've never actually seen you play on South African soil. Oh wow. Which is really odd. Where I mean, have you been? I, well I, I mean the first time we met of course was in 1983. Of course. In Amsterdam. Oh, okay. I was living in London at the time okay. and went across to you know um, Amsterdam and okay. said to the people who we were staying at, it was actually a South African owner of, uh, of a oh. hostel, okay. said, Where is there to go in Amsterdam? He said, No, 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 you've got to go to the Melk 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 and watch Chiluka. And he said, There's this amazing South African band playing tonight. Yes. And then I came up to you afterwards oh, okay. and said, Well, we were from South Africa and we had a long chat. And then I bumped into you again in the 80s back here in South Africa. You actually turned around and said, you know, I remember you from that night at the Melkbeck, which was okay. like, I mean, I don't know if you remember still now, because it's many, many years yeah. later. But I saw you playing there, and I haven't seen you playing here, so I'm rather glad that you've added some more South African dates to well, your it's final only, tour. Yeah, it's one, uh, one in, my last show in Johannesburg, yeah. Yeah, uh, 11th of November at the Dome. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, you know, it, it, it's, it, it was an add-on essentially uh, due to um, people employing me on Facebook and my management and computer ticket and everybody getting um, uh, everybody saying, please tell him yeah we missed game. we missed the Monte Casino show yeah. you know, and, and, and we really and and the prices were a bit high and we so what we did is we we opened up you know a venue that could take more people and so we could bring down the prices so mm. it's, it starts at 250 rand and uh, we we're working hard to to, to bring the same um, production mm. that we did at, at Monte Casino because you know it's a very small venue so mm. the ticket prices have to go up for the lighting you know there's, there's audio visual presentation you know there's the Soweto gospel choirs there's two dance teams it's it's 35 people on stage mm. so it's massive um, and then so to do that and then of course I've got buddies and friends and other musicians who want to also come. Yeah, they want to come and play with you. Play with me, and so we we're going to make it a long show. <laughs> and we were talking about who was coming to play with you. So who who have you actually kind of managed to rope in, or hope, rather, should we say, who's roped themselves into your well, final we, concert? We, <laughs> we have we we're busy confirming a bunch of, of people at the moment, mm. and, but w w we you know um, uh, Prime Circle, uh, Shakina. Um, a, a bunch of other of, of, of other artists who um, you know uh, want to and, and the and the other um, uh, God um, uh, Kinfonic uh, Kinfonic and um, uh, 
<laughs> There's so many people. Cards, uh, well, a coronzoid. A coronzoid. coronzoid is coming yes, yes, of course, I remember yeah, that. And, yeah. and, 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 sorry, I can't think of them offhand. Uh, I would have brought the list with me. If, 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 <laughs> but so it's really, it's really going to be a jamboree, um, and also some, some, some musicians from when I started. Uh, mm. You know, obviously Sipom Tunu from Chiluka will be there, and um, and some other artists at, uh, from that period of, of, of the mid '80s mm. who I toured with. You know, around South Africa, you know, all these, uh, you know, um, uh, these, these uh, uh, what was it, uh, the castle, the Lion Lager Road Show. Oh uh, my uh, goodness, those days. Do you days. remember oh, those yeah. days? Oh, man. man this Lion that was Lager amazing. truck, where it was a Pantechnicum, and it would like fold down the stage, you know, and then we would climb on the truck and perform on this truck <laughs> all over the country. I mean, yeah. everybody, it was a amazing time. No, just, I, went, I went to go and live in England as I said, in 83 and I mean the, I, I still had a, a, a Walkman but it was a tape deck right. which I used to walk around. Now I went overseas and I was so into your music that I actually had African skins and like snake skin belts and beads and I used to walk around London like that wow. dressed up in that stuff listening to scatterlings of Africa the oh, entire God, time. Easy. That was my thing. I wasn't interested in anything else. I was back into South African like heritage culture <laughs> and yes. culture and that's how I walked around, and, and um, at that stage, I don't think that you were as big in England no, no, no. as you have become now. No. Because you've yeah. just been back there, and yeah. everybody I know in England went to go and see your concerts. Yes, yes, yes. How's uh, the tour been so far? It's been fantastic. We've had, you know, we sold out everywhere. Uh, two shows at the Apollo Theatre in London, uh, the Opera House in Dubai, um, and you know, we have a. a I, 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 I'm putting this, the, the, the tour is in a number of legs. Mm -hmm. So this, we, we're wrapping up this leg now. And then the next leg begins in October, which will be USA, Canada. Mm -hmm. And then March, April next year, we do Europe, which will be France, Switzerland, Belgium, a bit of Germany, um, a dash of Spain. <laughs> just a dash. <laughs> just a dash of Spain. Some pimento in and, your know, yes, you know, so but you know, just a few shows uh, on on the mm. in those markets where I was a, a peripheral, um, you know, um, world music artist, but got onto you know either the charts or the playlists mm. on the radio there. So there's interest. So, so that that will be, and then that's it for me. Uh, I I basically um, will only you know not be doing any more public performances. Mm. Um, uh, but you know, a, a book is. Due to well, the rough draft is due, due to be um, delivered uh, by December, mm -hmm. uh, so that'll be out. Um, Are you writing it? Yeah, I'm writing it, and and my agent promises me next year that I'll have a lot of talking engagements in the states, and you know, so that'll be a different kind of tour. Yes. Um, and I have a new album out, uh, which uh, the, the masters arrived last night. Uh, oh, fantastic! Yeah, and and wonderfully. Uh, I have a, a collaboration with my son Jesse uh, on it, mm. um, which we actually perform. Is he going to be playing with you at the dome? Yes. Excellent. Yeah. So we're going to have a whole bunch of people oh, on yes. stage with you. Yes. I mean, I actually, believe it or not, I'm, I've got tickets for the, the Monty show, but unfortunately it coincided with um, the tickets which we had gotten for Trevor Noah. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, right. with my child being kind of like, okay, Trevor Noah, she, he is her muse, yes, as far as yes, she's yes, concerned. Yes. So I'm definitely going to Understood. be coming to this one, that's, that's for sure. And I mean, they, they need to understand about how big a thing you have been for South Africa. I mean, honestly, I'm going to talk about, I talk about Mel's treasures and things that have been kind of seminal um, points throughout growing up in South Africa and Johannesburg. You've got to be kind of the biggest out there one. Thank you, you so much. Thank you. I mean, that's just fantastic. But I mean, keeping all of this going and traveling from place to place, I mean, doesn't it get like absolutely exhausting? It is exhausting. Uh, the traveling has become harder and harder and harder. Um, I'm, uh, you know, just this, it's just the experience of getting, you know, my, my band there, their visas this morning. Um, you know, yeah. it's, it's just, you know, it's very stressful. And yeah. your, your, I think, you know, when you're young, you have this incredible comeback factor. You know, mm. that, that bounce, that youthful bounce, you just bounce back from everything. You know, it's amazing. So I watched my son, you know, he went through it like it was nothing. Yeah. You know, and I've been panicking 
for like two days about it and saying, mate, have you got this? Have you got this document? Have you got your five by five centimeter color photograph? Because you can't take any other kind of photograph. You know, I know, I know bands. No. There's always somebody, whether you tell them or, or whether you email them, whether you tell them physically over the phone, they don't, They're gonna forget they don't bring one document and it happened. And it's like, so okay, how many people? 35 people? No, 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 this, <laughs> is, this is my seven, this is my band. Oh, just so a band, seven okay. of us, yeah. So, so somebody forgot the, 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 the DS-164, which is the key four. <laughs> so we had to rush down to um, uh, Santum to, uh, to PostNet. <laughs> he, had to, he had to hook up his phone <laughs> to their printer <laughs> and print it out. <sighs> yeah, yeah, it's all that stuff. So it's, it's always like that, you know. And you can ask my management because they do this, not, you know, not, not only for me, but for, for all the other bands. Yes. And, I, you know, that's why they're all great. <laughs> I'm sitting there, I know that he's hiding in the corner, like one of the great impresarios here in South Africa when it comes to South African music. Some of you I've worked with. When did we start working together, Roddy Quinn? It must have been in the kind of early 80s, back in those ago, days. Yeah. Yeah. Like 10 years ago. <laughs> yeah. oh, okay. I mean, that was I'm in the days sure. of Elemental yeah. and Tribe After Tribe, and I, I used to go around. He used to pay me to go and put posters up all over the yes. walls of various yeah. bands. That, and Fantastic. Louis Sum was one of the ones where there was a big thing that came out. So, yeah, we're peripherally involved yeah. in the music industry right. throughout the years. And, and like a, a huge fan of South African music and always pushing it in the best way I can. But, I mean, yeah, these, these big international tours. I mean, I knew, know what it was like just going overseas with Elemental. And that was absolutely horrendous trying to get everything sorted out. And it was also in those good old days where... No, sorry, if you have a South African band on your um, label, uh, we will leave, was what most of the sure, international yeah, artists the cultural say. boycott, yeah. You, you, did you go through I any went of through it, yes, and one of the issues was in England, that's why my career never took off, because uh, there was a very strong um, opposition to any, anybody, whether they are non-racial, racial, coming from South Africa, it didn't matter, there was a total, total yeah. blanket boycott, and I had to fight my way through that, which I did, but I wasn't allowed to perform on TV. Uh, at all, so I could do live shows, mm -hmm. and um, any royalties that uh, that I um, accumulated from radio play uh, was um, had to be donated to the anti-apartheid movement, which I you know didn't mind. It was mm -hmm. fine. It's just it's just that there was there was such um, um, conflict between uh, the anti-apartheid organisations in each country. They all operated differently. Mm -hmm. When I went to France, they embraced me. Um, and in Switzerland and Germany and places like that, Scandinavia was was uh, was uh, teetering, and then I just spoke to Harry Belafonte, and then he, he he said, "You must come on tour with me. I'll I'll phone them now. Don't worry, it'll be fine." And so he he, he knocked that on the head. Yeah. And 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 Holland, um, that show mm. that we did there. Yes, it was a great. Show. I have a letter which yeah. I've kept for my for my book, from the the anti apartheid movement in Holland, mm. which was the most powerful one you know, in, 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 in terms of the fact that they felt that it was their Dutch settlers, you know, we set up, eventually set up their apartheid. Yes, you know, so they, they got, got that, all yeah, that stuff, they got all that stuff yeah, they were they carrying all that baggage. And they, 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 they wrote me a letter to say, you know, we don't want you here, we love your music, we love what you do, we love what you stand for, but, you know, you've, technically you're breaking this and we can't, we can't actually uh, allow you to perform, so please don't perform, but we did perform. Uh, um, and um, and thank goodness yeah. you did because so, I got to see it. Yeah, yes. so <laughs> we, we had all of those those conflicts, and you know, uh, we toured Canada and America because you know we we, um, we we managed to to con convince those groupings that you know that we were legit. Mm -hmm. So it's it's it was just it was just very um, and it's interesting because uh, the ANC never had a a global policy they mm. just said to countries you want to if you want to set up an anti-apartheid organization fine mm. we're not going to tell you what to say because you know your country you know what your you know how your country operates and, and you can you can apply it the way you want to apply it so it was it was like you know fruit bowl you didn't know in you know, each different country you had a different emphasis on this and that and whatever whenever you met met with them to 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 talk but uh, after the formation of the South African Musicians Alliance in, in 1987, mm. uh, all of that fell away. And so with Savuka, we had no problem uh, because we were part of the alliance and we had you know, um, aligned ourselves to the three main rights that mm. we felt 
were being denied us in South Africa, which was freedom of expression, freedom of association, and freedom of movement. Because we, you know, SIPO uh, still had a pass. Uh, you know, everybody was, was under duress at times when we went into townships to play because the police were closing down our shows. So, you know, so we made a stand here, and um, that was then ratified by the United Democratic Front, and we, we were, and not only me, but many, many other bands were able mm -hmm. to perform. So it was just, you know, it was just, you know, politics as usual as we have today. Um, you know, it's spaghetti. <laughs> Spaghettios, it's a whole can of mixed up stuff with a lot of tomato sauce thrown yeah. in for good measure. Okay, so I mean, you're not actually, I mean, doing a final tour, sure, but you're not actually like saying, well, that's it. I mean, you still, as you said, you're going to be doing speaking engagements, yes, you've got an yes, album coming yes, out, yes, hopefully yes. another album coming out after that, well, because, you know, it, it's, uh, I mean, obviously, as you know, I had a cancer scare in 2015, mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm in remission. Uh, now uh, mm. I came off my last chemo in, in February this year, uh, and so I, you know I said to my management, I'm feeling good and strong, and, and but I don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. So I'd rather, you know, say do my farewells now and and go away with great memories and and and, and you know um, instead of having to do a, a pathetic one <laughs> when I'm on the downhill. I don't think I mean? it would ever be yeah. pathetic, Johnny. Seriously. I'm sitting on this chair. <laughs> I used to be able to dance. But I'm not, I, I'm just, you know, while I'm playing, just remember me as I used to be. <laughs> so you're yeah. still kicking up your heels? Oh, yes. Going, oh, oh, boy. No, no, no. We, we've got, we've got a, an incredible live performance yeah. for you. I'm really looking forward to seeing that. And I mean, you know, he's still got all his hair. It looks really, really good. Yeah, thank you, darling. <laughs> no problem there yeah. at all, really. Okay, so you said the date again at 11th the 11th November at the Dome, yes. Oh, Poppy Day. We won't forget that one, Pam. So we will all be there. Poppy with Day? Our... Explain, sorry. Poppy Day. Yeah. Isn't it the po 11th of November? It's Poppy yeah, Day yeah. in England. Oh, yes, the, oh, the First World uh, War. Yes, yes, yes. So everybody wears the poppies yes. in remembrance. It's remembrance. In Flanders day, feels yeah. the poppies grow. I love it when a between, man talks like that. Ooh. Between the crosses, <laughs> row by row. <gasps> he can do this ah. stuff. Isn't that just so wonderful? Yeah. Okay, so you're feeling good. You're feeling healthy. You're going to come out and wow everybody again. And then you're still going to go overseas. And then you're going to come out. And then you're still going to go overseas. One last overseas. And then I'm sure when you come back from overseas, there'll be another concert as well. I have you no know, doubt. Uh, you know, uh, from your mouth to God's ear, I swear. You know, um, Basically, this chemo for me um, takes me up to January. Yeah. Uh, so that is, is a kind of like a guarantee that, that, that you know it'll be in remission up until then, and mm -hmm. then then we'll see what happens. Um, and if if I'm if I'm able to just maintain it, you know, we'll we'll uh, we'll come back and look at the drawing board. Okay. We'll all talk to God's ears at the moment as well, and just say let it stay that way as well, and go Thank much you. much longer. <coughs> Johnny, thank you so much for coming in. It's always wonderful to see you. I know that you occasionally I see you in the street somewhere. And I go up and say, "How are you?" Yes. And I go, "Hang on, you do know me." Not okay, <laughs> just some weird fans coming up and saying, "How's it?" None no, of my fans are weird. I love my fans. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've got a big one over okay. here, but I am a bit weird. So there we go. There is one that is a bit strange. Okay, my darling. But thank I'm you. I'm looking now. forward to seeing you on the 11th of November. And thank you for taking the time out of your hectic schedule. I know that it was like touch and go with going through to deal with the Americans this morning, but well done on getting that sorted as well. Thanks a lot. Okay, and we're going to play out with one of my favourite songs, which of it course... It is uh, my favourite song. Is it your favourite song? It's my well? absolute favourite. This favorite. was the one, this was this kept me company in 1983 in London, yes. and uh, thank you for that, because I was a very lost little soul living in England at that stage, and I had you to keep me there. Right, thank you very much, Johnny Clegg. Cheers. Thanks. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> This yeah, song, you. if you want to back announce it, yes. this song launched you, Luca. I know. This is the song that got onto the top 40 in England, and then we re recorded it with Sabuka, and it went to number one. Really? It's it nice to actually get in and sit in on the interview. Unfortunately, no time. I mean, he's a busy man running around just about a league for the States. So no time for me to sit down with him one-on-one -on -one and do an interview. But yeah, thank you, Mel and Radio Today, for allowing me to sit in there and stream that broadcast live to our Facebook followers. Right now, back to um, Deadline. It's newspaper deadline today. Well, not quite today, but I need to finish writing up all the stories, and there's a ton of them because I've kind of been a little bit lazy. But anyway, finish up the stories and then fetch children and do all that other kind of stuff I've got to do, plus move house. Wow, what a day. Uh, 
just taking a few minutes break away from writing stories for Deadline. It has been a hectic one to say the least. Um, making preparations to get the house moved, national strike tomorrow, so we're coordinating that and seeing who's going to cover what. But yeah, meeting Johnny Clegg again today was really cool. I hope you enjoyed the little interview. Thanks to Mel and the guys at Radio Today for letting me sit in on that. And I will chat to you tomorrow. Have a fantastic morning, I think it is at the moment. But anyway, <laughs> I'll chat to you soon. Cheers, Joe Berg.